Oh hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well tonight. So I just wanted to give you guys a really quick update about the Max Ramos event which happened in Europe at 11 o'clock. Which by the way, it's kind of a crazy time but apparently they launched it simultaneously around the world. 11 o'clock here wasn't too bad in the other time zones. Well, what we saw was a pretty big attack of loads of mobs basically coming down from sort of Nax Ramus attack cruisers, I suppose. <laughs> they were all finished off very quickly within the hour, pretty much all over the world. And to be honest, I wasn't really re prepared for this. Um, I wasn't in a group. Uh, I know my guild did uh, three different groups, so everyone was working on that. But unfortunately, I didn't get in one of the groups. I tried forming other groups, but ultimately it uh, didn't really amount to much. A lot of people were really disappointed, but it was over within the hour. And already Nax Ramus has been brought down by some top, some of the top guilds, which is pretty phenomenal if I'm honest, because at least a week away from even trying to do Nax Ramus. So, you know, the fact that these guilds have done, have done it, you know, within an hour and a half of the content launching, it's absolutely phenomenal as far as I'm concerned. Light Hope's Chapel, which is in the Eastern Plaguelands, seems to be the centre of a lot of the quests and things. So I was looking at a lot of the rewards and I don't really like the rewards if I'm honest. I mean there's a trinket which looks interesting but I don't think I'll really get it. Other than that there's some large bags and of course there's Argent Dawn reputation which I'm going to try to get more of. I literally think maybe the only thing that I really got out of this was one crystal, uh, got a few quests done, but uh, nothing major, and uh, yeah, it was a real disappointment for me. I think a lot of people felt kind of disappointed that the whole thing was over within an hour, I mean. And the other thing I noticed is there were an awful lot of Alliance who were, uh, well, we're on a PvE server, and there were a lot of Alliance who were sort of in PvP mode. So the problem there was someone would strike them and then they would be in PvP and they would um, very quickly be wiped out because for some reason anyone who attacks anyone seems to get a massive attacking. So yeah, the um, Alliance sort of seemed to have dominated most of the event anyway. Um, I believe there's going to be another event like it in three days, so uh, another Attack of the Scourge. and. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of new quests which you can do, which I'm sort of working my way through. Um, there were some enemies outside of Undercity which I went and exterminated, but they were like level 15 or something, so that hardly seemed worth it. But uh, if you're interested, they're just to the left of the Undercity entrance. It took me a while to actually find where um, that was actually happening. But um, yeah, I wasn't really prepared and the whole kind of event sucked as far as I'm concerned because I didn't really get anything out of it. Um, didn't really get any reputation out of it, I mean um, maybe a few hundred. I would have got the same reputation, in fact a lot more, out of um, a Strat UD run, um, Strat Home Undead. But um, yeah, I guess it was kind of cool to see the big ziggurats uh, floating above Undercity and things. but. Yeah, I just kind of wish it was better. I mean, these events are never that great, if I'm honest. Um, the AQ40 opening event, which is also on my channel if you're interested, guys, was uh, probably a lot more fun than this one, as far as I'm concerned. But And I was utterly confused by what I was supposed to do. I actually flew back and forth between Eastern Plaguelands and the Undercity a few times, basically trying to do one quest, which... I did in the end, but uh, anyway, honestly guys, if you're listening to this, leave your comments and, you know, tell me what your experience of this was. I suspect there's going to be a lot of very disappointed people here. And again, once again, it proves that um, if people can do Nax Ramus, the hardest raid in World of Warcraft in just an hour and a half of it launching, it just shows you that uh, perhaps these raids should have been a bit harder. I think it's going to provide um, a lot of difficulty for regular players and stuff anyway and I'm still building up my frost resistance and just trying to get ready for it but uh, anyway I'll um, let you guys go 
I hope you enjoyed the event more than I did because I was uh, sorely disappointed and uh, like and subscribe etc and uh, yeah have a great evening